Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we want to look at Temple Run Speed Sprint. It's a card game based off a phone game, an old phone game. So it's an older game. Came out in 2011, 2012 by Spin Master. All right, let's open it up. All right, here's Temple Run. I picked this thing up quite a while ago. I think in the before times. So right before... Uh, Things went a little south, so so there's only a target. I think I picked it up at I picked it up at a thrift. I don't think I ordered it. Anyway, let's open it up. Huh? Okay. Looks like I might need a screwdriver. Deck of cards. Instructions, uh, two to four players. What do you use? Uh, triple A. Triple A batteries on triple R. Okay, uh, so I guess we'll pause this for a second and get some batteries. Okay, got the batteries in. It's always a good idea to have one of these small Phillips screwdrivers just on hand, period, no matter who you are. So anything like this or like toy trains or whatever seems like to use one of these smaller Phillips. So it's good to have. And I play, look at this yellow and black handle. I think I got it at Dollar Tree in a set. So look out for those. It's definitely worth it. Uh, quick, quick look at the box art, which I do like. It has that kind of Indiana Jones slash Uncharted kind of thing going on. So I do like the art on the box. Check out the cards. Okay, so here's the back of the cards. Temple Run. They have a runner, Scarlet Fox. Look at this box made a mess. Hold on, one second. So we have Scarlet Fox, a runner, Karma Lee. Guy Dangerous, I guess is the main character. Barry Bones. So it's two to four players. Here's your players. We have some movement cards. Slide. Right. Left. Jump. Invisibility. Okay. Here, see how to play. Seems pretty short. Instruction wise, contents, what we've seen. All right, setup separate the four runner cards from the action cards. Done. Each player selects a runner card, lays it down in front of them to remind them of the runner number. Okay, in a two player game, choose from runners one and two, and a three player, choose from runners from one, two, and three. I mean, does that matter? You can be able to pick whoever you want. So it's a two-player game, I guess it would be... Let's put these guys aside. The guy in Scarlet. Sure. For a two- or three-player game, deal 12 cards each player. Right, first, we're going to shuffle the cards. Okay, for a two-player game, deal 12 cards to each player. All right, let's set up a two-player game. That's dry now, so we'll go get rid of this. We'll put Guy Dangerous here. And Scarlet, we'll put her face in this way so you guys can see. Bring this up a little bit. Maybe.
All right, 12 cards to each player. Card drop, we'll make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Okay. His deck, her deck. Each player lays down their cards in front of them face up on the table. You may organize your cards any way you choose. You figure one. Okay, so I would set up my cards like this. It's like and my my runner. And then you want to just have everything kind of together. Ability, right, jump, a slide, a slide, and a little bit. Left towards the left, right towards the right, and jump. So I don't have any rights. Okay. See all the rights? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have a draw pile. We're going to be in front of her. There'll be a discard pile as well. It's like number of players using the switch on the timer. Oh, okay. So there's two players, so there is a switch here. Two, three, and four. And it looks like it's defaulted to two. No. <laughs> All right, well, that works. All right, I'll be the first player to get rid of your cards. Let's turn this on for a second. That's kind of cool. How to play. Press the idle timer to begin. Announce a runner. The idle world announce a a runner number and a card that runner must play. Left, right, jump, or slide. For example, the item calls out runner three, jump. Runner three must discard a jump. So we'll say it's runner two, discard a jump. Immediately after playing the card, runner three must press the idle timer and end their turn. You only have three seconds to play your card and press the timer. If you hear the demon monkey screech, if you don't have the announced card to play or take too long, the evil demon monkey monkeys will screech. You must draw one card from the draw pile as a penalty and add it to your hand. Press the idle timer to continue the game. The invisibility card. The invisibility card can be played in place of any other card. Left, right, jump, or slide. Play this card when you don't have a card that is being called. Okay. The pass command. The idle tells you to pass. Runner one, pass. Okay, pass one of your cards to another player. You must add it to their hand. Yeah, got a little power move there. That's not good. All right, plugged in. Uh, we got the pass command, right? Playing the wrong card. If any time a player discards the wrong card and presses the idle timer, you may pause the game by pressing and holding down the idle timer. That player must take back the discarded card and draw the card, draw one card as a penalty. Press the idle timer a second time to restart the game. So you gotta be watching your opponent, make sure you discard the right cards. If not, hold down the timer. Then you will 
have to get an additional card and take that card back. Winning. The first player to get rid of all the cards wins. That seems to be it. Uh, well, let's see how the hand goes. So I'm going to turn two player back on. Pretty clear voice, I like that. It's good. I don't know if I would set mine in front of me. I guess maybe I would. Versus in my hand. Hmm. I don't know, I guess it's easier to keep track of, do you think? In front of you? Oh, three seconds. Well, let's go. Another slide. So we have to draw a card. Press the item to begin. start again. I go left. Right. Right. Okay, so they're supposed to hit it when they pass, so they would draw a card. Press the item to be runner one, slide. Oh. Runner two, pass. Good pass. Runner two, right. Go for a right. <laughs> Alright, they draw again. Uh, left, I do invisibility. Oh. I guess he just continue once all the cards are gone. <laughs> so once all your cards are gone, you're good, you win. Uh, that seems like a fun, fun little game. I like the art. Uh, I like this thing, it's very instructional, very easy to follow. I think it'd probably be a, probably be fun with four people, maybe a little chaotic. I don't know how much abuse this thing can take. It's not super sturdy. Uh, being how old it is, it's working rather well. Now these have different backs for your, for your runners. That's cool. There is Temple Run Speed Sprint. I think we find it on the cheap. I would pick it up. Uh, I forgot to like play it, play it. But it looks like something I would enjoy to play a couple hands of, and then you know move on to something else. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night wherever you are.